So, um, tell me, baby. What do you think? It's nice. It's nice. What do you mean it's nice, baby? Wait, don't you like it? Not really. I'm wondering if a new apartment is really necessary. Besides, you didn't even tell me about it. I know. Baby, I'm sorry. I just wanted to surprise you. Besides, we're getting married soon. When we start having kids, that other place will be too small for us. Well, I guess if you like it, I do too. Besides, you're right. It's better than the other place. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... So what's this... with the furniture, though? What do you mean, what's with the furniture? You don't like it? I bought it. I mean, everything happened so fast. You didn't even tell me about this. I know, baby, and I'm so sorry. I told you, I just wanted to surprise you. Well, I'm actually surprised. Oh, mission accomplished. <laughs> okay, let me show you to your office, yeah? My office? Mm hmm find out about this. Find out about what? You snuck out of the old apartment with your boyfriend. Oh, you think I'll just let it slide? Look, you need to leave now, okay? My boyfriend just stepped out and he'll be back any minute. Oh, your boyfriend. <laughs> you saw him. I know him. Clement. Alex. I cannot do this, okay? You need to leave now. Okay. I only came here to congratulate you on your new, our new apartment. How did you even find this place? It is my house. Our house. Oh. You've not told him about me yet? I thought as much. I wish he would just know what he's getting himself into. What is he getting himself into? Everything here is a total waste of time. Clement, what is a total waste of time? The both of you. The rubbish fling that you both call affection. Okay, you need to leave now and never come back. <laughs> Leave! See? Drop this, drop this, drop this, drop Why this. Why am I dropping it? Baby, I missed you. What do you mean? Missed you too. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. How much? 
very much. So much. So <laughs> much. Did you miss this? Stop it. I have to this keep cooking. This kakamanga. Come here. Yeah. You what? know I was cooking, right? Baby, forget cooking. I do what? Daddy's here. Mm, daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hey, girl. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. How much? Very much. How much is very much? <laughs> Who's that? Oh, all these online stores it's out. Sort it out. Okay. All right, let me leave you to finish. All right. See you. Go. Okay, okay, I'm going. Don't believe that. What do I mean by that? It is what it is, isn't it? Referring to me? Well, you're the only Vanessa I know, so. Anyway, um, I'm going downstairs to meet her. You coming? Um, yeah, I'll join you shortly. Okay, don't stay for too long before the food gets cold. Sure. Alright? What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you stalking us? You left a note in the car? I'm taking it easy. Giving you time to predict the process. Listen, if you think that I'm going to let these stupid antics of yours fly this time, it will not work. Of course you will. Like you always do. Are you out of your mind? This is your last warning. If you do anything else, you won't like what I'll do. I see you. Go to hell, Clement. guy that, that wants my clothes. Did you request for a replacement? No, I didn't. Why does he keep calling you like that? I don't know. Just take his call and listen to what he has to say. Hello? 
now? What is it? You ruined my expensive clothes and you keep calling me. Am I holding your destiny? Don't call my phone again. to come between Alex and I? Yes. Look, it's in your best interest that you desist from calling me. Stop this madness. You and I know that is not possible. Don't make me change things because of you. Stay away from me. I was telling you that you don't even need to bother with like coming down or anything. I was literally gonna like just finish these dishes and get everything for you. Who are you? What are you doing in my kitchen? <laughs> Your kitchen. Yes. Who are you? You know, that is a very interesting question. Who am I? Babe! What are you doing? Babe! What do you think you're doing? Shut up. Who the hell are you? Babe! Shut up! Are you crazy? Babe! Oh my God. Babe! Shut up. What are you doing? Babe! I said shut up. Let go of me! Alex, what are you? Let go! Alex! What is your... Alex, are you chasing me because of her? Stay away from me. Alex! Alex! Stay away from me! You think you can chase me because of her, right? Are you just going to walk away like nothing happened? Baby, I am sorry. I am sorry for not telling you about Alicia and I. A lot of things happened between us and I vowed never to talk about them again. Whatever Alicia and I had is in the past now. Okay? I have you now. Vanessa, you are my present and future. You are all that matters. Please. I am sorry. Baby, 
Alex got a new house and moved in with another woman. Barely one month after we broke up. After everything we shared together, how could he just move on just like that? Say you need to calm down. You need to put yourself together. You know, things like this are going to happen. But it's not the end of the world. Just be strong and move on. Please. <laughs> Helen, you have no idea what I had to face because of Alex. Alex broke our engagement two weeks to our wedding. And now he is just with another woman. You asking me to calm down. Oh, oh you know it wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault. It was my freaking fault. It wasn't like it was a way for you. I turned a blind eye to something that important. I should have known about it before we got engaged. <sighs> Come on, Alex. It's never too late to do the right thing. Would you have done? Would you have preferred getting married to her living in regret for the rest of your life? Come on now, think about it. There's nothing to think about. I know you're so upset because you've always wanted to be with Alex. But there is something I want you to understand. Alex did this for you. For everyone. For himself. For the betterment of everyone. Please calm down. Put yourself together. I can't. Helen, you have no idea. The pain, the shame and embarrassment I had to go through because of Alex. I couldn't even face the world. I couldn't even tell the world why he broke our engagement two weeks to our wedding. And you're asking me to calm down. The world, the world, the world. You owe the world nothing. This is about you, your life, that of Alex. Please put yourself together. You're just saying all of this to make me feel better. Yes. I am not saying it to make you feel better. Have you ever sat and think about how miserable life would have been if you had married Alex? Have you? I know it hurts, right? But you have to be strong. Be strong for me, for you, for Alex, for everyone. Be strong for yourself. Please. <laughs> Stop crying. Stop. You're crying too much. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's not as if she's even prettier than me, right? She's not prettier than <laughs> you. Vanessa, I love you so much. You're the only woman in this entire world that has my heart. I meant it when I said first time we met that I would always be true to you. I didn't mean to hide anything from you. Alicia and I, we were just complicated than I ever want to talk about. Who exactly are you, Alex? She said that I was going to end up just like her. What does she know about you that I don't? Well, we ended things when life was just about to begin with us. What do you mean by that? We were not compatible to get married. What are you talking about? Alicia and I, 
we were not compatible by genotypes. What? Yes. Yes. There was no point getting married and risking the lives of our unborn children. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's alright. I'm sorry I never told you all of this all this while. I understand, babe. I love you so much. I love you too. What are you doing in my house? Your house. It's amazing to know that you're not going to last in this house. I said, what the hell are you doing in my house? You know, the man that took pity on a low life like you should have thought you on what you're getting yourself into. Get out. Or what? What would you do? You know what? I'm just going to call the police. Call the police. Call the police. Rubbish. How dare you? Are you stupid? What the? They're going to frustrate you and torment you until you leave this house. an ex was here. Alicia can't pick in a fight. Listen, I will not be ridiculed in this fling you call affection. Hey, you call this beautiful relationship we share a fling? What else am I supposed to think when I'm not even safe in your own house? My beloved sister, you're beautiful, you're kind, you're smart, you're bold, you're strong, you're funny. You always fight for what is what it, but this fight it's not worth it. Alex is not the one. Let him go. Let go of those feelings, please. I know it's very difficult. But you have to fight the bad feelings. I beg you. Please. Please. And extend an olive branch to his girlfriend. You're right. 
you have to. Please. Please. I'll think about it. I'm not. I'm not. I'll get you ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like ice cream a lot. Hello, here's this. Hi, this is Alicia. Yes, how may I help you? I guess I overreacted the other day, and I understand that whatever decision Alex made was for the greater good. I am sure he is happy with you. I just pray that you happen to be the woman he has always wanted to be with. Vanessa, are you there? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I just wanted to say I am sorry about the other day. Um, it's fine. Wait, you snuck into my house, took food from my kitchen, and you have the audacity to sit down here and eat it? What is all this madness? This is our house. I can walk in and out any time I deem fit. What if Alex comes back? <laughs> and that would be the best part of our movie. Yes, and a proper introduction at that. You know, he comes in and you'll be like, hey baby, me and my ex, Clement, and whatever, whatever you want to tell him, I don't care. And then I come in, telling him how many more days he has left, deceiving himself, thinking he's ever going to marry you. <laughs> Alex! Alex, are you home already? Alex! Listen to me. This introduction is long over. Look, if you do not stop this madness, I'm going to have to call the police. All right. Go on. No, call the police. You think you have something to tell the police? You don't have anything. I have. I have a lot to tell the police and I have a lot to tell Alex too. Look, Alex is going to be back any minute now. Can you just leave? I just wanted you to know that um, Alicia called earlier. No, um, not to fight. What did she want then? I don't know. I guess she was having a reconsideration about the whole thing. What did she say? Well, um, she called to apologize. And then she says that um, she's happy that we are together. 
and that she hopes that I'll be a better woman, the woman that she couldn't be to you. to spend the rest of my life with you. I have made so many mistakes in my past. And I know it all happened so life could bring us together. I just want to love you. All I want is you. And all I want is you. is my girlfriend. <sighs> you clearly do not know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, what do you want? Huh? Stay away from Vanessa. <sighs> Stay away from Vanessa. <sighs> I don't want to warn you again. thought I wouldn't know about him, right? Babe, just calm down, okay? Start talking. Please, just calm down. Start talking and stop telling me to calm down. Clement is my ex. And? What else do you want to know about him? That freak almost killed me today. The most part, I don't know how he got into my car. He asked that you tell me everything I need to know about him and what I'm getting into having you in my life. Um, just ignore him. He can be crazy like that sometimes. I should ignore him? Ignore a guy that just appeared in my car and almost killed me? Now don't piss me off. Who is Clement? Um, Clement and I happened a long time ago. He, he made some very, very extreme sacrifices for me before we parted ways. What sacrifices are we talking about? He took care of my siblings and I after we lost our parents. And then he, he single-handedly sponsored my sister's education. How come I never knew about him? Well, he never came up in our conversations. I wanted to mention him at some point, but I didn't know that he was going to show up and do something like this. I know what you're thinking. 
that I too had secrets, right? You have no idea what I'm thinking. What's on your mind? I don't care whatever secrets you have. After all, every single person has something to hide. Thank you. Any guy who makes demands about what he did for a woman simply because they are not together again or because you found love in another guy is either struggling in the maturity complex or maybe he never genuinely loved the girl in the first place. I am ready to grant his request. Do you know what this man entails? I don't care, Fred. I love Vanessa and I'm going to stay with her no matter what. Oh boy, where are you going to get that kind of money from? I'll find a way. You? Yes, me. And what are you doing here? I came to talk. Are you lost? Are you mad? Would you get the hell out of my office? Vanessa and I are happy together. Why don't you stay away from her? It's obvious you don't know what you're getting yourself into. What am I getting myself See, into? See, let me tell you something. Vanessa is mine. And when the time is right, I assure you that she will come back to me. I'm sorry that is never possible. What do you even want from her? Everything. Everything I have done for her and her family. And unless you have that with you, I suggest you leave my office. What kind of a man are you? You do things for a lady and you ask for them because she dumped your ass? See, let me tell you something. This issue is not about Vanessa and I breaking up. There is more. There is more that you don't even know about. Really? Yeah. Why don't you just go home and ask your so-called girlfriend? Huh? Look, she told me everything, okay? Everything you did for her and her sister when their parents died. I'm ready to make refunds. You think I don't have money? You think I'm poor? Is it not obvious? <laughs> This isn't about making refunds. You never told me there was something else. What are you not telling me, Vanessa? Babe, please, would you just let me handle this? No. I would not let you handle anything. Whatever he spent, I would pay back. His kidney. What are you talking about? He gave me his kidney when I thought I was going to die. He gave me an opportunity to leave again. And that was how we bonded. Until we didn't work out anymore. Clement is a dog. He cannot stick to just one woman. I caught him countless times with different women. Every time that I went to visit, before we crossed paths, I had never been with anyone else. So 
so I I thought that I was I was going to spend the rest of my life with him. For being the the unrepentant Casanova that he was. He capitalized on the fact that I had his kidney and made life so unbearable for me. This is a man that gave you his kidney because he wanted you to live. Yet you left him. He wanted me to leave, but I left to stay alive. <sighs> Babe, please. I don't want to be with anyone else but you. Always be here. I'm, I'm scared what next comment might do. Everything will be fine. You don't owe him anything. But I have his kidney. thinking of leaving me, are you? No. How can you even ask me that? Listen, I built my whole world around you. I can't go anywhere. Okay, what do we do? This one. Okay. You want this one? No, no, I think I'll go with this one. Okay. Hey, why don't you just come? Yeah, I'll come and check it out. Check, yeah, you like it. I'm, I'm sure you like it. Trust me. Look, I stare up bad mind. Okay, you know what? Go in here and check. Wait, let me check on this one. We want to check this one. Let's check it out. It's all yours. Don't worry. What do you think? Okay. So. See, check the mileage, Joe. It's of very course, important. Course, don't worry. Course. You like it, though, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, did you notice the tires? Yeah, I noticed they are strong. See, okay. Just check the mileage. You like it, don't worry. You see? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Let me show you something. Do you like it? Wow. This is the face you wear whenever you're coming back to me. I will no longer let you assume the role of my life's pendulum. Clearly, that's who I am to you. This has got to stop. You've made me leave all my past relationships all because you gave me an opportunity to leave. Why? Yes. Yes, and that's something you need to be eternally grateful for. And I am grateful, okay? I wake up every morning and I am grateful. But I cannot be with you. Okay. Then you can't be with someone else. Clement, I will no longer allow that. See, let me tell you something. You don't have any option here. 
vow. You have two options. Firstly, either you come back to me, or why don't you just give him my kidney back? How can you be so unreasonable and wicked? Am I? I love Alex and I am going to be with him. See, let me tell you something. You can love whoever you want to love. I don't care. But you know what? You will never over my dead body be with any other man. As long as you have my kidney inside of you. Vanessa, like I said, over my dead body, would I allow you to be with another man? Oga, sorry for my... No, no problem, no problem, I uh, understand. So you like this one, yeah? Yeah, I like this one. Let's talk about you do, it. Are you sure you don't want to? No, 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 I like this one. I'll go with this one. Okay, now let's, let's go inside the one. Babe, what's wrong? Huh? Hey. You went to see Clement? But I asked you not to. I had to see him. He wants to come between us and I can't let that happen. Hey, Clement will not come between us. I figured something out. What? Vanessa has been crying all day. Thank you, ma'am. She must be going through a lot right now. Fred. Yeah? I will not let that guy take her from me. Kidney or no kidney. I love Vanessa, and I will fight for her with everything in me. I understand. But I just want you to know that in any way that you need my help, I'll be here. Just say it. Well, um, I would really need some help right now. Really? Tell me about it. <laughs> wait, wait. What's this? It's a check of 20 million naira. Take it. And leave Vanessa and I alone. Look, I'm not here to fight or impose this on you. I'm a man like you and I understand what it feels like for another man to love a woman who should love and be with you. Give us a chance to love and be happy. She has told me everything I need to know about you. And I know this doesn't mean anything to you, but don't reject it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take this check. Okay. I can let you guys love each other and be happy with each other. With a one condition. I do this every year. What? Hey, hey, hey. You don't have any right here. I need to go with you. I don't try to please her. I'm sure you know me now. You try any rubbish. I'll make you more sleep. Hey, 
cool. Alex, what's up now? Did he agree? Yes, he agreed and took the money. Only on the condition I'll be giving him that every year. Come on now. That's bankruptcy. And you agreed to such lunacy. You sounded like I have a choice. Come I didn't on. have a choice. Come on. Look, let's go, let's go. Ha! Huh? Oh my god. Why not? What's funny, Joe? So, what are we having? Tell me what we're having. What do you want? I came to see you, Alex. Is there a problem? I came to return your check. Why? You asked for it. Come on, Vanessa. You know me too well. I don't ask for what I already have. So what do you want? The doctor said my other kidney is failing. And I have just a few months to leave. Unless I get a donor, which I don't have. You don't need to be scared. I know what the both of you are thinking. And trust me, you're not wrong about it. Why are you telling us this? Because I want my kidney back. You can have Vanessa for all I care. That's not my business anymore. Just give him my kidney and everybody will be happy. You have just one month to get ready. This is the ultimate end we both dreaded. What are you saying? I am not going back to that guy. There's no way I will go back to him. I'd rather die than be with him again. You can't be with me and have his kidney. You can't go for the surgery and return just to be with me. There is almost no chance of survival. You have to be reasonable about this. You are the one who has to be reasonable. You're giving up on me when I need you the most. I would never leave you. I would rather die than to see you in the arms of another. Look, I want to do all of that and more, but I just can't find- But you're already giving up. Don't do this. It is not my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. I'm the one who got entwined with a lunatic. Got entwined with a lunatic that gave me his kidney to keep me alive. And now he wants it back. Now I have to make a decision to either die and love the man that I love. Or leave and be with the man that I hate. It's my fault. I did this. It's my fault. This is the most stupid thing I've ever heard. What nonsense. 
Vanessa is not making things easier. What do you expect her to do now? To go back to that lunatic? I've actually run out of ideas. I don't know what to do. Alex, this is not the time to run out of ideas. There's two sides to a coin. You understand? With intentional silence, and this whole thing will be over. What are you saying? What I'm saying is this. In a few weeks, that guy will be dead. You and Vanessa can just travel out. Take her abroad. And when all this whole thing dies off, you can either decide to come back or remain there. Think about it now. Fred, you know I would never do that. Alex, this is not the time for facts. If he's taking it to the extreme, you to take it to the extreme. What if I was in Clement's shoes? Come on now. If you were in Clement's shoes, you would not make such demands. And besides, you're not in his shoes now. You're not in Clement's shoes. Ah, think of now. Ah. Please, I want you to make sure you eat something, okay? Did you hear what I said? Don't tell me you hear me and that you don't eat. Come here. Look at me. Everything will be fine. Okay? I promise. You gave us a month, not a week. Us? Yes. Look, Alex and I are going to fight this until the end. Oh. Such a fight in futility. Wait. What's even there to fight for? Huh? Coming back to me. That is never going to happen. You will. You will because you belong to me. Come here. I'm, I'm, I'm. Hey! What do you think you're doing? I fucking own ah! you! Ah! I told you not to. Are you really listening to yourself? That guy is sick. What if he died? Then we'll organize a funeral for him. That was completely unnecessary. And you're behaving just like him. Oh, so now it's my fault? Are you serious? Unbelievable. She obviously still loves him. She attacked me for fighting him. She was only upset. Okay. Explain to me how the woman I am fighting another man for is fighting me in return. She made a very valid point. How do you fight someone who is a dead man walking? Do you want to go to jail?
birthdays. It's past 11. I know when to bed. My favorite program is about to start. Just wait and join me. Let's watch together. I'm tired. I want to go and sleep. I'm sorry. We like sleep too much. Hello. Hello. Who is there? Are you expecting anyone? No. By this time. Get down! 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 Yeah? Do I have some clothes of laundry? Nope. Really? I don't know, my clothes looks kind of scandalous. Who are you? Yep. The ones I dropped off, I picked them up already. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. Hmm. All of this for me? <laughs> yes. Let me help you with this. Thank you. And you're amazing. I know, right? <laughs> so they left this. Yeah. Um. He was he was trying to rape me. Then he saw his men leaving. So he jumped off my body and ran towards them. And immediately I, I noticed this stuff. So, I, I don't know. So, I don't know. Do you suspect anyone? No, I don't. I don't suspect anyone. Wait. Come in, the door is open. doing here? Alicia, I, I just want I to... I ask you again, what are you doing here? I was going to answer, but you didn't... I want... don't care! Just get out of my house! Look, I just wanted to know if we could talk, okay? Alex, please just leave. Alicia... Get out! Alicia, I... Can you just don't touch me? Just get out! Alex, please leave. Get out. Sis, calm down. Calm down. Look, I just want to have a word with her. That's all. Alex, please leave. This is not the time for this. Please, it's not the right time. Please leave. Alex? Get out. Go, please. Are you okay? Are you okay? Alex. Alex. Yes, Alex. He was putting on this shirt and... Jesus Christ, it's Alex. Okay. Yes, he was putting on this shirt that day. I saw him. Well, Miss Helena, are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, I'm very, very sure. It's Alex. I saw him. 
Thank you. And this is the man. Arrest him. For what? Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Why do you want to question me? Like you don't know. You kidnapped my sister. That shirt. We've been looking for that shirt for some days now. Yes, ma'am. This is the item the kidnappers left behind. So wait. You you think I kidnapped Alicia? Yes, you did. Why would I do that? I don't know. No, sir. We're not saying that you kidnapped anyone. You need just a few minutes of your time at the station. That's all. Alex is not going anywhere. What do you mean Alex is not going anywhere? Do you realize my sister was kidnapped? Excuse me, does he look like a kidnapper? There will be no need for all this. Let's go to the station for the question. Just hold on. It's all right. Uh, baby, it's okay. I'll go with you to the station. I'm not talking to this. Officer, arrest this man. Let's leave. Oh. Shut your mouth. I said I'm following you to the station. What is your Sorry. problem? Sorry. Kidnapper. Please, there will be no need for all this. Let's go to the station. What nonsense? Huh? So what exactly are they saying now? That I shouldn't leave the country until the case is done and Alicia rescued. Is someone trying to set you up? That is exactly what it is. But come to think of it, who could that be? to see you. Why? You want to kidnap me? Where are your boys? Look, Alex will never do anything like that, okay? He loved your sister so much, he won't want to do anything to hurt her. And why are you speaking for him? Where is the kidnapper? He should speak for himself. You're calling the wrong person names. He's not responsible for this, I promise you. <laughs> Get out. Okay. You need to calm down, okay? Get out of my sister's house. Leave now! Before I do something very, very, very funny. Are you still here? Get out! Go! Leave! Babe, you didn't tell me that you were going to stay at Fred's place. Yes, I'm back. <sighs> it was okay. I mean, she was being erratic, but that behavior is expected with everything that's gone on. Yeah? All right, no problem. Love you, see you later. <laughs> What are you doing here? Your boyfriend is going to jail soon. And you are dying soon. You wish. <laughs> you should be worried about your boyfriend going to jail and not me dying soon. Wait. Was this all you? It was all about nothing. The main thing here is that your boyfriend is a kidnapper. And is going to jail soon. For me, I'm healthy. As you can see, I can decide to stay alive when I have my kidney back. You did this. You took his things and you framed him. That's baseless. 
You don't have any proof. I don't need any proof. I know you, I know what you can do. I have a feeling that Clement did this. Clement did what? I think he's responsible for Alicia's kidnap. Come on. Why would you think that? Why would he be responsible? To frame Alex and then to get him out of the way. Look, Clement is capable of anything at all. Hmm. That could be true though, but... Why would you think he would want to do that? Um... So, Alex doesn't know this. But Clement has been coming to the house. What? This house? Look, Alex cannot know this, okay? I'm confiding in you. First, I would have to check if this information you're giving to me is true. And if it is, I would personally deal with that bastard. I have to leave before Alex comes back from the police station. All right. Take care of yourself, please. Thank you. What's wrong? What did they say? Usual questioning. So why do you look upset? Because I'm getting sick and tired of this whole thing. How do you mean? These past weeks, I've had more ordeals than I've ever had in my entire life. Only because your ex showed up. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to push this on me? No. But I'm the one who is supposed to show up at the police station every single day for questioning. Now I'm being told to get a good lawyer because the case is going to court. But this is not my fault, babe. I'm not happy about this and you know it. All I know is I'm going to court for something I know nothing about. You know, say no man, shit don't say no. Don't shit don't say, I find the money now. We don't know this wish now, my guy. Where are my money? What did you pay for the money now? See, 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 make one calm down. Mm. I, I know say she don't say, but make her try smooth and finish. Eh? Don't worry about the money, money day now. You know, say no money, man, say I guess. When they calm down, let me, let me put it down for the job, money day. Oh, the hot guy. No, to make me enter the mission. OG, no worry, see, I did come here. We could just. Help me observe her. Monitor I'm not allowed to come out too. I did come. I did come. No, I did with you. You baby, you know me again. I did come. No, rugged, rugged, I did come, eh?
So did you get to tell Alex about it? I couldn't. I'm sorry. I guess he'll see me as the enemy within now. Yeah, that's true because you know you made him go through so many things that he knew nothing about. I'm sorry. Oh, you're apologizing to the wrong person. I know. Um, I'll tell Alex all about it. Personally, I think that would be a wrong thing for you to do. Because it will only cause more problems between you and Alex. Trust me. It's not a good idea. I understand what you're going through with Alex. And honestly, I'm very sorry about the whole thing. Thank you. Sorry, I had to drag you out. I know that Vanessa will be so mad to see me around. It's okay. Now, Alex, wow, we're really sorry for everything. Please forgive us. It's fine. I mean, anyone in your shoes would have done what you did, if not worse. So, what's going to happen? The police are now involved, so hopefully everything is sorted. That's good. Alex, we are really sorry for everything. It's okay. All right? I'm just happy you're free. And my regards to Vanessa. Yeah. I'll tell her. See you. Yeah? Just take care of yourself. Bye, Alex. Bye. It's okay. So that's fine. It's okay. You call my kaba. Say you need my boys. I carry them, give you. You use them, finish. You know what, pay. Uh, where my money? Make I know what I give you. That was not the plan. I told him to monitor her, and he refused. Now she, she escaped. Either she escaped or not, you have to pay me my money. No. No, I can't pay you for a job that you do. Are you crazy? crazy? I can't pay you. What? No, I can't pay you. Why are you shouting at me? They messed up. They messed Where up. is my money? I think I make them stop me. Idiots. Shit. Some of those guys. Oh boy, don't fall on me. Shit. Oh. Hello. Officer. Miss Alicia, we'll be needing you at the station for questioning concerning Mr. Clement's death. Questioning? Yes. What does that have to do with me? Um, Miss Alicia, we need any information to trace his death. Any information you can tell us, okay? Officer, it was me who was kidnapped. I have nothing to do with that. Why, why would I want to come in for questioning? It is fitting to do so now. Okay, I've heard you. And thank you for everything. You're welcome. Thank you. Alright. Is it because Clement sneaked into the house? 
friend, right? Yes. He told me. But it's okay, baby. I understand you didn't want things to escalate. Thank you. It's fine. I just want you to know that everything will be fine. Okay? Come here. Do you trust me? Good. I love you. How do I look already? No, no, no! Jeez! You look stunning. Really? Except for the bag. Hold on. I got you! Getting late. Ta -da! Okay. Yes. I think this looks better. Really? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Turn around. Turn around. Oh shame. Oh shame. Oh shame. What has been in town? Let me keep me oh, okay. <laughs> okay, stop. You're making me blush. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Thank you. I really do appreciate you. I love you. I love you too. So, do I look good? 10 over 10 over, over 10, 10 minus nothing! In fact, 100 <laughs> over 100 minus nothing! Thank you. Uh, okay, okay, you need to stop this. <laughs> Thank I can't, you. I can't, I, I can't believe this. I'm so happy for you. Look at you. Like, you know, beautiful again. Happy. <laughs> okay, just go ahead before you run. I don't want you to run this. Okay. 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 I love you. I love you too. One last thing. Don't forget to ask for genotype. <sighs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> yes. I will make sure not to forget. I trust you. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Okay. Oh, Shay. Okay. <laughs> Baby, talk to me. What's the problem? Why are you crying? What is this? You're pregnant? Oh my god. Baby, you're pregnant? <laughs> We're having a baby? 
Maybe you pray not and you're crying? You shouldn't be crying over this. Look, I will take responsibility, okay? This, this is amazing. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> what is this? We are the twins? <laughs> are we having twins? <laughs> Oh my god, we haven't so... What is this? Baby, what is this? AS? How is this even possible? I don't know. The last result we had was AA. So why are you giving me this? Where is this from? I have no idea. This, this is not possible, baby. This, this, this can't be happening. Results or not, sticking together. Yes, baby, stop. Oh, we can't do that. What do you mean we can't do this? We are not going to let this stop our future together. All right? I love you, and I'm not letting you go. Do you understand? I love you so much. I love you too. We're going to stick together. Together forever. Alright? We're going to fight. Okay. We're going to make this happen. Do you understand? Okay, good. Okay? Okay. Alright. Good. Come here. It's okay. Fred, you're not listening to me. I am not letting Vanessa go. Never! I honestly feel your pain. But you know I know how this is going to end. Alex, it's painful, honestly. But Vanessa, she has to go. Can you stop saying that? Just stop it! She said she's seven weeks pregnant for me. She's what? to separate us has stepped aside. If the world couldn't separate us, why do we want to separate ourselves? Baby, we'll stay together. We're gonna be in each other's lives forever. Remember what you promised me right here in this room? That in our arms, we will die together. Please, stop. Just breathe. 
please, okay? Just please. Sorry. 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 Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. Just breathe. Just breathe. Just breathe, baby. Just breathe, baby. Yes. Sorry, baby. We might not be doing this kid thing. I want to love you for the rest of my life. Children or no children. I want that too. I love you so much. I love you too. We might have to adopt, but that's when we're ready. Vanessa, you are mine, and that you will always be. <laughs> 